XFX system, it acts as a blank slate if you choose to use it that way, which I do. For me, my world is, is so in, in transit in terms of how I want to have my rig function. I just like the experimentation of it. The XFX gives me a matrix in which I have uh, all the tools to have my rig work in whichever way I choose to have it work. I can have it as a simulator, I can have it as an effects processor, I can have it as a dedicated second amp or first amp, I can have it as a studio go-to, I can have it as a lot of things. What the XFX does for me on tour uh, has been also in flux, which has been great because I do like the experimentation. I've had XFX as my entire rig, one two space rack that incorporates all my effects with two XLR cables to the board. I've had it as, as that. I've had it as my primary amp with a pedal board in front because I like pedals. The thing I do with this particular scenario live is I will split my signal. So I'll go into a pedal board and then one goes into the Axe Effects and one goes into the vintage amp. And then what I do with the Axe Effect is it gives me a replica of whatever amp I'm using. What I'll do is I'll model the same amp so it's similar and then make that one the affected chain. And that's really the basis of any time, like Casualties are Cool, my last project, I use a Tele and old funky sounding amps, but it's a three speaker setup that I end up having. You gotta give credit where credit is due, so I proudly put the axe on top of some old little furry suitcase. But it's a great combo, that's how I like my work to function. I like the idea of that duality, the past and present, having to sort of play ball with each other, and it eliminates a ton of problems that I had encountered while trying to make my sound with vintage gear. So for me, the primary benefit of the architecture in which the Axe FX works is that it, it provides me a palette in which my experimentation can sort of take foot. One rig to rule them all.